Sorry about the bad lighting, I couldn't find a better spot. But today I'm going to do a video on is the Phantom 4 worth it in uh, 2020. Just the standard Phantom 4, not the Pro or anything like that. Just just the one with the front, two sensors. Um, is it worth it in 2020? To be honest, I had a Phantom 3 standard for a while. Then I got a Mavic Mini. I, I liked that, but I felt a bit toyish, so I, I didn't keep that. And then I got the Phantom 4, and so far this has been my go-to drone. I've always loved the quality of it. Um, just how nice it looks, and the camera. The camera's better than the one I'm filming on. So, this video is basically, should you get the Phantom 4, or should you get the Mavics, or should you get a cheaper version? I think, with the Phantom 4, if you're on a budget, and you're not a big YouTuber like me, or if you want to just do little videos, definitely go for the Phantom 4. But an even cheaper alternative is, which I have as well, I just didn't bring it out, the Phantom 3 standard, that is actually good enough for a lot of videos that you want to do. Um, I think that, yeah, the, the the quality of the Phantom 4, the Phantom 3 standard, they're all good. And obviously the transportation isn't the best. You know, you do get the, the case, as you can see, just back there. I'll show you. So, unless you're in the case back there, that is what you get with the Phantom 4. If you buy it new, or you can even get it when you get a second hand. I got this, I got this one second hand off our eBay, and it works fine. The only thing is a little stress, stress crack, but it's not that big of a deal. So you have to be careful with that. But um, it was in kept in good condition. Uh, always make sure you clean it and all that. Obviously, you want to keep this in the best condition you can. I think. The weight of it, obviously, compared to a Mavic Mini and Mavic Pro or whatever, they're better for transportation, but if you just want to get solid, and if it's a bit windy and you want to get solid footage, this is the drone to go to because of the price you can get it now and the quality of the camera, everything like that. It's a perfect investment. The controllers are nice. It works with a lot of your older phones, well iPhones, I don't know about Androids much, but a lot of your older iPhones and it works fine, I have the iPhone 8, and it works perfect. I had the 6S not long ago, and that worked perfect with the Phantom 4, the Phantom 3, the Mavic Mini, so I think if you're planning on getting a drone to be starting YouTube, or you want something that's tough, and yeah, the Phantom 4 is definitely a cheap one. I saw in JB Hi-Fi, or good guys or anything like that. They had a, a another drone from a different company, but it cost like six, seven hundred dollars. And I saw on YouTube uh, the camera was crap. It didn't have good stabilization. <clears throat> it wasn't 4K. I usually just film in 1080, so that's why the Phantom 3 is good enough too, and this one's good enough too. But yeah, that drone had just bad everything. Just didn't fly right. Didn't go that far. So. If you go to a shop, you're going to spend more on a um, a different branding drone, that or quadcopter or whatever you want to call it, and you're not going to get as good quality. But with the Phantom 4, the Phantom 3 standard, all that, or even the professionals standard threes and all that, for the bang for the buck, you're going to get a lot more out of it. You're going to get active track. You're going to get tripod mode. Oh, my favourite's tripod mode when it's not too windy because the movements are slower. But I think that is probably the best way to go in 2020. A lot of people say don't get the Phantom 3 standard, but I got it and it works fine. He does the flying. It has a lot of the, the, with all the updates that's happened in the past years. And for a drone that came out, uh, the Phantom 3 standard, the drone that came out in 2015, I believe, that is a really good quality so far. But let me know what you think if you should get the Phantom 3, the Phantom 4, and yeah, but I think this is a good investment, so I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.